Hello my YouTube family, how are we all doing? Hope you're all well, keeping safe, whatever you're doing, whether that be working or yeah, or staying at home as advised. So you join me out on the A14, uh, the new stretch of road, which I find quite confusing to be honest at the minute. The old Sacknag hasn't got a clue where I am. It thinks I'm driving across a field at the minute. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find our way. So, we're heading up to... I'd like to say Spalding, but it's not. It's past there. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, yeah, we're actually going up to Spalding. And then heading east. It's kind of between Spalding and Kings Lynn. Sort of halfway between. From my yard, it's just a little over three hours up to you. It's saying we've got about hour and 35, hour and 40 left. But we are gonna have to stop for diesel. We're just below half a tank. We've got enough to get up there and part of the way back, but what's the point? I might as well just stop, grab some, top her up, we we'll still have three quarters, more than three quarters of a tank by the time we get back then. That'll do us for Monday. Yeah, it's Friday today. So, it's been quite a, quite a week. Let me tell you about it. So, as you probably, well I've mentioned before, 19 plate truck, it's a DAF CF. Uh, eight wheeler wagon and drag up with a high ab obviously chuck the wheel it's a high ab life this truck has given me quite a few issues over the well it's not even a year old over the duration of us owning it the company having it we've had it since new obviously yeah just sensors just just seems constant so I was driving it the other day, it was absolutely fine. I pulled over it into a lay-by, up by Aylesbury, on the 41. Pulled in for a 45 minute break. Only had sort of 10, 20 minutes left on the clock. Pulled over, we had a 45 minute break. Everything was fine. Started the engine, went to pull away, was flashing up in red, stop. Oh no, what's the matter with this now? Power steering malfunction, central vehicle controller module malfunction, and something else, but I can't remember what that one was. It had been raining that morning, or that day, so I'm thinking, it's probably a bit of moisture got inside one of the sensors. Can't be anything serious, the truck was fine. All we've done is stop and had a break. I drove it, I knew there was another lay-by about half a mile, three quarters of a mile, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll drive it to the next lay-by and just see, and that one was a nice big off-cut, loads of space, I knew there'd be loads of space there, there always is. Yeah, so I thought I'd drive it to there, see how it, if it clears itself, no such luck, the fault stayed there, beeping in my ear hole, stop. Yeah, so that, we lost the lorries for the pretty much remainder of the week up until last night, when I picked it up last night from DAFs. All repaired, all sorted, thank God. So we've been cab hopping, we've been jumping in this, that and the other, every single truck we, we've got on the fleet. This lorry next to us now, just quickly, we're going around the curtain side Arctic. He was doing 50 mile an hour. He's let me get right alongside him. I don't know if you can see it on that, that camera face in the front. You probably can't see him. No, you can now. He's waited till I've got right up alongside him and now he's floored it and now he's pulling away from me. He can't go anywhere because that other lorry, the red one. So what did he gain from that? 
fucking prick, mate. Class 1 drivers are meant to be professional drivers, meant to read the road ahead. Why let me get alongside, floor it, when you ain't going to go nowhere? All that do is let me past, pull him, slip him behind me. Or, to have done the speed that he wanted to be going, flat out, 56, in the first place. <sighs> right, that's the ranting over and done with for the day. Yeah, so we've been jumping about in all different trucks. We was out, if you follow my social media, you'd have seen, I've uh, been out in the other 19 plate we own, uh, for a day or two. Now that truck used to be mine, from brand new I had that for a couple of months. Done a couple of truck shows with it, bloody bloody blah. Used to have a lot of pride in that motor. Absolutely loved it. In fact, I took it to Truck Fest, uh, Peterborough. Didn't win nothing, didn't even get highly commended. But, for me personally, I think it looked really good. Spent a lot of time cleaning, polishing all the chassis. I got right underneath it, cleaned all, every, absolutely everything was polished. It looked nice. Doesn't look like that anymore. Looks like a bit of a scrapper. Right, that curtain side, I've pulled in as you can, as you know, you've seen. That curtain side is now trying to overtake me. Do two wrongs make a right? I should back off one or two now let him through and I'm gonna he doesn't deserve it honestly some drivers the chances are really slim but if the driver of that lorry is watching my vlog now, you, sir, are a prized prick. You need to learn to read a road. Act a bit more professional like you're meant to. <laughs> Just put all his hazards up to say thanks. That tells me he's possibly a new driver. Certainly not old, old school. I'm sure you all, everyone already knows, but we'll tell you anyway. If you've been driving down the motorway and you see a lorry flashing another lorry, you'll see them indicate left, right, left, right, whatever they do, couple of lefts, couple of rights. Everyone does it slightly different. Um, if you've ever wondered what that's about, that's a lorry driver's way of saying, communicating with another driver, basically. It's just to say thank you. Every driver does it different. Some give three lefts, two rights, three lefts, whatever. But yeah, a left, right and a left indicator is always to say thanks. Thanks for flashing me in, mate. Or whatever they've done. Thanks for letting me join the motorway, pulling out, whatever, I don't know. Now this run up to Spalding was a regular run for me when I was back on containers three or four times a week I suppose yeah definitely three times a week up the spalding coming through it's the A16 you come off the A14 onto the Fenton whatever it's called I think it's the A16 straight up to spalding A16 A17 yeah lovely road You'll see it a bit anyway. Right, I should crack on a little bit more. We'll come back to you in a bit. I'll speak to you in a bit.
didn't have a job done. Another day done. Well, just got to drive back. It's only three hours. It's just gone, wait, it's five to 12 now. We'll be back for, I'm gonna have a break on the way back. We'll be back for about, I don't know, half three-ish. Spot on. Yes, I don't know how much I actually managed to get footage-wise of that lift. I don't think I had the angle of the camera quite right, but whatever. Um, yeah, they're both delivered. In an ideal world, I needed to have been a bit closer. I didn't actually have enough stretch to get them where he really ideally wanted them. white track that just went through um, yeah it was about I don't know I was a couple of foot short but had I've driven got any closer with the truck to give me that extra stretch that ground was really although it was type one on the ground it was soft under the feet I didn't want to drive on deliver the boxes and then get stuck especially on a Friday afternoon who wants to be stuck on a Friday? I mean, lovely area, don't get me wrong. Gorgeous out here. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, as spoiled in Boston sort of area it generally is. But yeah, they were nice people. The job's done. Now we roll back. I know it's a short vlog. Yes, I could have shown you the journey back, but to be fair, I'm just gonna crank the music up, have a little sing. You don't wanna see that. So, I'll end the vlog here. Sorry it's a short one. As I said earlier, it's been a bit of a messed up week. In and out of different trucks, all my camera gear was left in this. So, I've been unable to get any content till today. So, thanks for watching. Whatever you do, stay safe. Have a great weekend, if you're watching today. If you're watching in a week, have a good week. Speak to you later, guys. See you in the next one.